Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to have a look at what's new in the May 2021 Windows 10 update, also known as the 21H1 update. Now, I originally called, recorded a video of this back in February when Microsoft first released it for Windows Insiders. And actually, since February, Microsoft haven't made any changes to it. So I'm actually going to carry on with the rest of the video. So the update's coming to Windows users in May. And I'm going to go back to the video that I recorded in February showing the changes. And I'm going to start off talking about the difference between the major build and this minor update. This time it's coming through as a service update, and um, which means it's like the monthly update. So it's going to be a minor update that comes down and it's quick to install rather than the full image download. Currently this build is available to Windows Insiders on the beta channel uh, as an optional update through uh, through the Windows Update program and I've installed it here on my uh, virtual machine so you can see here that it's got the version 21H1 and uh, it, like I said I've just installed that as an optional update. Now at the moment we're not seeing any new features as such but Microsoft can kind of switch those on and off as they as they want through the servicing update so just because we're not getting those now doesn't mean we won't get them later but what Microsoft says is that version 20H1 is a scoped set of features uh, improving security, remote access and quality rather than uh, a major update. I think we will see some bigger updates to Windows 10 later in the year but at this time we're not going to see a huge amount. So what actually was new in the recent build? Well the uh, Windows Hello multi-camera now um, enables you to have an external camera for Windows Hello. Uh, there's a Windows Defend application guard performance improvement and WMI, that's the Windows Management Instrument Instrumentations uh, has been improved for home or remove uh, has been improved for remote working scenarios. So in other words, not many changes with so we're not got any new features. I can't show you anything on here. So I can't show you any new features or anything like that. There's no UI changes to show you. Um, but that doesn't mean to say there won't be any, so that Microsoft could introduce them at any point. But what it looks like Microsoft making this a minor update, um under the hood fixes to improve remote working and other minor changes and then we'll see bigger changes later in the year so like i said i'll update this video and do another one when we get some more features but that's it for now thanks for watching this video